All right, let's talk about vertical and horizontal shifts and how to apply them to functions. All right, so don't get lost in reading all this junk, okay? And I, I say junk because this is the terrible math definitions. This is why I never will make you guys read a math book. All right, so what I want you to get out of this. Vertical shifts, all right? So if we have a vertical shift, what you're going to see is that you, we get a plus or minus a number on the outside of the function, okay? And so if it's plus C, then we're moving up C units. Uh, if it's, let's so here, um, shifted C units up if C is positive. Uh, if C is negative, then uh, unit, we're going C units down if C is negative. And this is called a vertical shift. Okay, so what's it look like? Notice on this little picture here that we've got a, a function, some y equals f of x, some standard old function. All right, if I put a plus 2 on the end of that function, then I'm moving my blue original function up two places to get the red. All right, if I stick a minus 3 on the outside of that function, then I am moving my original blue function down three spots, all right? And so the x's stay the same, but the y is, the y value or y coordinate is three less. All right, so let's take a look at an example. g of x equals x squared minus three, all right? So again, what's our basic function? What's our original function? Our original function is the x squared, all right? And I'm hoping all of you know exactly what that looks like. All right, so we plug in x values, we square them, and we get this basic function here, okay? And notice if I do a minus 3 on the end, I'm just subtracting 3 from each of these y values. 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus 3, negative 2, 0 minus 3, negative 3, All right? And so we can see this in our graph where we have our original function in blue, okay? And my red shifted function has moved down three spots, right? So just as I was showing you over here, originally I put in negative two and I got a four. I got this point right here, all right? But if I subtract three, I'm moving that point down three spots. And so this is a coordinate by coordinate shifting down three spots. All right, let's talk about horizontal. Okay, so now notice this looks different, right? Right here, I am subtracting C from the X. It's inside of my function, okay? And if I am, and it's opposite sign, okay? So we are going to shift C units to the right if C is positive, all right? And we are going to shift C units to the left if C is negative, okay? Because this is the form, guys, X minus C. And again, I, I know I've already lost many of you because it is so difficult to understand math with letters. We learn math so often by looking at examples and even sometimes looking at answers and learning backwards. So let's take a look at this picture. We have this blue original function, okay? If I subtract three from the X, that's not really subtracting three, all right? So let's look at our green right here. What I'm doing is I am moving my blue original graph three units to the right, okay? Um, and we'll look at this coordinate by coordinate in a minute. Similarly, if we see an, a plus 2 next to the x inside the function, then I'm moving two units to the left, all right, because that means 2 is negative, whereas here, this means 3 is actually positive. All right, so again, I know I've lost you guys, and it's going to take this example to clear it up. g of x equals x minus 2 in parentheses squared. Notice this is different from the example we saw earlier, where we had a, uh, a minus 3 on the outside of the parentheses. Here I have a minus 2 on the inside of the parentheses. 
All right, so again, we have our blue basic function here of y equals x squared. All right, and so what's happening here, right, with our shift? Well, notice if I were to plug negative 2 into the function, I would get negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4, all squared, which is 16. All right, negative 1. Well, now I get negative 3 all squared, which is 9. Okay, and so what I'm wanting you to see is we're shifting. What was getting the value of a 4, all right, negative 2 was going to negative 4. Now 0 is going to 4, all right? Negative 1 was going to 1. But now 1 is going to 1. All right, and so do you see how we have actually shifted to the right two units? All right, so again, I'm hoping you guys get to the point where you're not having to plug in points, that you can just look at this graph, recognize that that is a horizontal shift, two units to the right, and so you move your basic x squared parabola two units to the right.